on those 641 kids that were tested, it's true that a significant amount of them had antibodies against COVID. So it's almost uh, between 35 and 40% of the, the kids that were tested. That actually means that almost 40% of the kids already had COVID. A new COVID-19 study conducted by St. Justine Hospital, which looks at the antibody response in teenagers, found most Montreal area teens have developed antibodies against the virus through vaccination or through infection. When we conducted that study, we did two, time, two different kind of tests. One test is uh, NTN, which usually develop only after having the infection. And the other one is NTS, which usually develop either after vaccine or infection. The study found anti-S, the antibody, which is shown in those who are vaccinated or who have gotten the infection, was significantly higher than those with only anti-N. Most of them, over 95% had that anti-S because we know that the vaccination was very um, high rate in that population. While in the middle aged kids, the one between 5 and 11 years old, uh, the NTS is reaching something between 60 and 70 percent. Dr. Luc Boileau, Quebec's interim public health director, commissioned the study and said in a press conference Wednesday that it provides enough information that shows there has been a significant number of infections in the age group, which played a part in the decision to remove the mask mandate for elementary and high school students within classrooms when they return from March break. Break. But Dr. Christian Rano says caution is still needed. Every studies that we report and our, every results that we report, it's always we have to take it cautiously. We have to evaluate all the possibilities. This study was done at St. Justin at the emergency. It's not an um, all population study. So maybe in the other uh, areas of Quebec, uh, maybe kids were not. Uh, immune as much. Maybe kids haven't have the same rate of infection also. So it's just a picture in a small group of kids. In Quebec, 99% of those 12 to 17 have gotten one shot of the COVID-19 vaccine, 93% with two, and 3% with a booster. Rano says the next step is to see if there are similarities of COVID-19 antibodies in adult groups like there are in teens. Those antibodies, we believe, can give some kind of protection, but it's not for sure a, a, a robust um, um, protection and not necessarily a long-term protection either. In Montreal, Felicia Adam, City News.